Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be learning about moraine. What is till and moraine? Till is basically unsalted sediment that is in the Glacier Valley. There are two types of till. There's lodgement till, which is till deposited from a moving glacier, and ablation till, which is till deposited from a melting glacier. Moraine, however, is glacial till, which is the sediment in the Glacier Valley, which has been sorted by size. There are different types of moraine which we're going to look at, the first of which is lateral moraine. This is moraine located on the sides of the glacier. When the glacier moves down the valley, it erodes the sides, plucking them and removing sediment. That sediment is then trapped inside the glacier, as shown by the diagram here. As the glacier moves through the valley, it's going to pluck at the sides and remove that rock which makes up the valley sides, and then it will be located inside the glacier. Ground moraine is moraine located at the base of the glacier. Just like a lateral moraine, it happens when material is picked up by the moving glacier, and as the glacier moves forward, it's going to pick up and entrain sediment which is located along the base, and then it's located at the base this time, which forms ground moraine, as opposed to the sides, which is lateral moraine. Medial moraine is a line of moraine that's located in the middle of the glacier. It happens when two glaciers merge and become a larger glacier. The lateral moraine sides join to meet in the new middle. So this is what the process looks like. First we have two glaciers moving together. Then they get closer and closer until finally the third step they form together to form one massive glacier. Then the two sides of lateral moraine on the right side of the, of the left hand glacier and on the left side of the right hand glacier form medial moraine. Terminal moraine. Terminal moraine is moraine that's deposited when the glacier has reached its furthest point and stopped. This is when the glacier can't move forward anymore, therefore loses its energy and deposits its sediment. It can then retreat backwards. The deposited sediment shows the furthest deposited point in the river valley. So first on the left hand side, separated by the dotted line, we have the glacier reaching its furthest point. Here it loses its energy and can't move forward anymore, so it dumps all of its material. Then on the second part, we see that the glacier is evaporating by the process of ablation and it's retreating. And then we can see the line of terminal moraine, which it's left behind. Recessional moraine. Now similar to terminal moraine, as you can see from the diagram, recessional moraine is the line of moraine deposited and sorted as the glacier retreats. So in the diagram, we can see that the final point is the terminal moraine. However, there's a line of moraine sorted behind that. Now that is recessional moraine, which is more moraine which has been dumped as the glacier started to retreat. As it retreats, the glacier leaves behind these deposited lines of moraine because it begins to um, undergo the process of ablation or evaporation. Here are some questions on moraine. Define all of these terms and then pause the video to give yourself time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did manage to get all of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of drumlins. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.